It is a uh, very exciting week for us as we start CES in the, um, in the technology industry. And um, absolutely, let's talk about the security topic. You know, I think um, security is one of those things as, you know, a tech company CEO, this is job one for us. You know, think about it as, um, you know, in the automotive industry, safety is job one. You know, when we have high performance processors, uh, security is job one. And uh, last week, um, several research groups did talk about some new uh, security vulnerabilities. Um, that affect high performance processors. And um, I have to say, John, as an industry, we've taken this very, very seriously. So over the past six months, I think us, um, some of our peers, our operating system partners have all been looking at um, this, uh, this research that has come out. And so um, it's around modern day microprocessors and um, the idea that uh, as you execute some instructions, there may be some vulnerabilities that come up um, in the uh, architecture. And as it turns out, you know, you know very well, um, these processors are billions of transistors, mm -hmm. so billions of transistors, and um, each architecture is affected, you know, slightly differently um, in terms of how it operates. So um, you may have heard some of the terms, um, meltdown, meltdown, inspector, yeah. yes. Um, it's amazing how many people are talking about those things. Um, I would say, you know, first around meltdown, um, you know, what we've seen in this particular vulnerability is um, it doesn't affect AMD's architecture. It's just the way we've chosen to implement, um, you know, some of these uh, instructions um, in our architecture. Did you specifically build it that way to avoid that problem or does it just happen that the way you architected it that that happens not to be on the table yeah you know it turns out when you're building these architectures you have a lot of decisions that you make and you make these decisions for performance reasons uh, for security reasons i think in this particular case um, we've implemented differently uh, we think our implementation is a strong implementation um, and it doesn't happen to be susceptible uh, to, to meltdown. But did you do it for security reasons? I would say we did it for a whole host of reasons. Okay. So um, that, that's, that's for sure. Um, and then moving you know, to the other um, uh, security um, conversation around Spectre, you know, this one is um, actually a little broader. Um, you know, it does affect um, our processors as well as others. Um, there are a couple of variants in there. Um, the first variant is um, one that, you know, we believe um, as an industry, we're doing um, a very good job in coming together. And so the operating system vendors are actually putting some mitigations in place. Um, and that we think is, um, is a strong solution. And that's the one where people are concerned about how much you might have to throttle the processor in order to make it safe. There were some initial reports out that it might be as much as 30% from some applications, but Apple and others seem to be saying, hey, don't worry, it won't be that much. Yeah, and I think, um, I think some of those numbers were around Meltdown, some of them were around Spectre. Okay. Um, but to be fair, uh, I think it's very application dependent and very processor dependent. And so um, I do believe that there are good mitigations in place. Um, I do believe that there's some workloads that you might see, you know, larger performance variants. Mm -hmm. um, but on this particular Spectre one, we feel that the performance uh, will be small. And the uh, second Spectre variant. And, this, and the second Spectre variant is one that, again, due to some of our architectural differences um, from an AMD side, um, we think it's rare. I think we think it's difficult um, to access, um, you know, out um, in, in real world applications. But I got to tell you, John, you know, I said security is job one for us. We're being very vigilant. Uh, we're working with all of our partners and, um, you know, we're going to continue to, you know, you know, watch this space as it go forward. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.